Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Black Geyser with me, Frank and Talon. Let's pick this fight that we postponed the last episode. I shall not yes, I'll make it. No one stands against Steve. Naturally. Another one for the dirt. I'm listening. I fear neither pain What's nor. You'll make I'm a nice ready. Ready. All right, that's one down. I'm gonna target this guy with Yala. That's really good damage. All right, should be able to finish him off with her. You're in my way. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go this way first. You need only ask. Alright, it's quick save. Looks like we're gonna get ambushed by mummies here. So another one of these guys. I think they're different than the ones we saw in that time cave. Is weren't the ones in the time cave more shadowy or almost like they're composed of darkness? This guy looks like stone or bark. What do you wish of me? Radiant statuette. A statuette depicting a man of radiant stature, arms open for embrace. It emits a warming, comforting blue glow, even if rather dimly. You need only ask. Okay. Well, we've got something we need, we just don't know what we need it for. You dare face me! We'll find a solution. All right. <laughs> a little easier than I was expecting. Oh. Surrender while you still can. What do you wish of me? This ends now. Are you certain? I'm listening. I'm always Time ready. for zombies. I'm listening. I'm listening. Mostly. Right. I await your instructions. Give Jade some more rocks. And we're finally out of regular arrows, so once he wish? burns through these, uh, 58. Yeah, then we can start using some of the fancy ones. So that's exciting. Off I go. I'm listening. Yes. Let's see. You need only. I fear neither pain we'll find nor a solution. death. Agreed. Time for zombies. Oh, let's get some more summons out. I'll throw some boars be behind be with nice. Hamlin as well. Thank you. I await your instructions. Naturally. Taste oblivion. I'm, I'll make it. We'll find a solution. I'm ready. 
All right, let's get chain lightning out. I'm listening. Another one for the dirt. Hmm. What do you wish of me? Right, another chain lightning. Yes. What's next? Yes. What is hitting Biala? Oh, it's the wasp assault. I'm listening. I'm listening. Mostly. So Hmm? We'll find a solution. A beer would be nice. From the shadows, you need only ask. Word. Yes. I'm always ready. Right, I thought that was going to show him. I await your instructions. They're still kicking. I shall not flag until we prevail. I'm ready. We'll find a solution. Naturally. Hmm? Alright, that was a pretty good little fight. They weren't protecting anything except for experience. What do you need? Yes, time for zombies. I'm listening. Alright, almost level 16 with our main character. Surrender while you still what do you can. Agreed. What's next? I'm always ready. I await your instructions. Vakan, Sakti. No one stands against steel. You need only ask. Off I go. These mummies and the malignant echoes can take quite the slacking. Noriko. So plus two to dexterity, minus one to focus, plus 15% to aim and accuracy, plus 6% to critical chance, a 5% chance to inflict a sleep itself. Then 20% chance to inflict knockdown to the target. The sword is named after an ancient king's treasured pet, Noriko the Cat. <laughs> she was said to possess such a regal heir that the court felt compelled to treat her with the same deference accorded an heir to the throne. When the furry companion finally passed on, the sword is imbued with her essence, so she would never leave the king's side. Protective magics were applied to the blade, so that Noriko would only ever obey her true sire, the king. The sword will quickly turn against anyone who attempts to wield it without permission. I don't have the means to clear that curse with my current party. There? Hmm? <laughs> Such a funny enchantment, though. <laughs> I will lead. Five percent chance for the user to fall asleep, and a twenty percent chance to knock down the target. 
because the blade was imbued with the essence of a cat. You dare face me? Yes. Naturally. Hmm? You need only ask. What do you wish of me? A beer would be nice. I'm listening. Thank you. Most. We'll find a solution. Nothing will stop me. I'm. Are you certain? Time for zombies. I await your. As you say. As my final task in the mortal realm, I'm ready to impart my wisdom upon a worthy daughter. But since there are two of you, I'm unsure how to proceed. Two of what? Since the third eye chose me, it only makes sense. Do you even listen to what she just said? There's nothing more than a chance that you found the third eye. Well, what about that tin ring wrapped around your skull? Did you earn it in a drinking contest or something? Uh, ladies, please. Let me intervene. Jade, why do you believe you deserve the Matriarch's wisdom over Biala? Because she's a lady. Because she's had to work for nothing since the day she fell out of her mother's womb onto a silk pillow. Now I actually do something with the Matriarch's wisdom. What's she going to do? Is there a dinner party? Biala, why do you think Movern should choose you? Or Morvern? Must you ask? She fancies herself some kind of princess of darkness. What's she going to do with more power? Raise an army of ghouls? There are many reasons to choose me, but the simplest is that I'm more responsible. There. Choose. I'm going to go with Biala. A matriarch. I choose Lady Biala. Oh, you little crap. I should have known I couldn't trust you. Thank you, Donald. You truly are a lord of the realm. And I grant my boon, my wisdom, my blessing, to Lady Biala. What in the outer void? How's that in any sense fair? I'll have to blast both of you to cinders. Or blast you both to cinders. Oh. I'm listening. I fear neither pain we'll find nor a death. Whatever you say. Hmm? What do you wish of me? I await your instructions. Yeah, let's see. What is your wish? <laughs> I'm listening at once. Well, I didn't think it was going to resort to that. I'm listening. I, mean, I should have guessed as much. They did give me an option to opt out of having to choose. You need only ask. Probably should have taken that route. All right, what do I want to max out next? Uh, I guess spears and halberds. There. Alright, we got a flourishing statuette. A statuette depicting a winged, beautiful woman with a vibrant, caring smile. It seems to emit the scent of fresh earth and flowers. Alright, so that's obviously Talindia. I hope off I go. And we know where her altar's at. It was. I think it's that one. And then Onarius's was down here. Hmm? 
I'm listening. Wait, was this the right? Well, either way, a uh, covetous statuette. A statuette depicting a horned woman, her face curled into an envious grin. When held against one's ear, faint tinkling sounds can be heard, like jewels falling on a pile. You need only ask, as you say. I'm assuming these altars are warping the statues we found. I put the Onaria statue in this one, and I'll turn it into like the horned statue. The one we saw on top of the temple. Twisted Statuette. A statuette depicting a muscular, menacing man. Touching its rough surface somehow causes pain that sends anger and hate through the holder's nerves. Alright, it's gonna rest up here. I will lead. Now we'll proceed further into the temple. I'm listening. You need only ask. Off I go. Seen that staff before? What do you need? I await, as you say. So we still have the other statues. They didn't actually warp. Whatever you say. I'm always I'm ready. What do you wish of me? Warp them. We'll find a solution. Hmm? I'm listening. I will lead. I'm not sure where something would have changed. And I also don't know if we needed to put the statues of Onaris and Talindia inside those pots.
Was this empty before? I think it was. You need right, so that's the Altar of Onaris. There? Let's go grab that statue. So I was wrong about those. Where's the other one at? I see that one on the map here. Oh, there it is. I await your instructions. Right, we can put these on these altars and see say. what happens. If there's more stone clicking. I figured it was going to happen, and I'm assuming there's going to be one more fight before we can loot that. We're a little short-handed. Hmm? I await your instructions. All right, one more quick save. The Pact Prophecy. A first were the Radiant One and the Flourishing One. They gave birth to the lands of those upon them, and all was calm. Following their footsteps, the Covetous One and the Twisted One sprung to life. But they cannot be content with calm. They shall come to terms, a great and terrible pact shall t shake the nations. The waking world shall overflow with hatred and greed, and the covetous and the twisted cannot be sated. But as the strength of their alliance reaches its apex, the pact shall be broken. And as when the dark moon shall rise along the axis of the world, there the pendulum shall cease its eternal swing, and Yerngal will be free to meet its fate. At once. Cephthus the Unseen. Outsider, you're an intruder within these hollowed halls. Do not leave with the knowledge you have gained, for I am its guardian. Charmain with me, forever. Who are you? I am Cephthus. Long ago, I was the final leader of our settlement, Avimilchedic. But for countless generations, I have been the guardian of this temple and the Pact Prophecy. And forever shall I be. But this knowledge could save Yerngal from deadly peril. Are you a servant of Rothgor or Zornilsa? Zornilsa? You try to insult me, mortal. My people were building this temple when the heroes who vanquished the Zerzer beast still roam these lands. Our seers foresaw the pact. They were the ones who foretold the fall of Yerngal and the prophecy. Those wretched beings are our most dire enemies. That is why this knowledge must never fall into the wrong hands. If you're an enemy of the Dark Gods, why can't you let me leave? In the days of old, we built this temple because we believed. We believed that one day a new generation of heroes would appear to rid the world of the Dark Gods. But the world only grew colder as construction progressed. The curse even wormed its way into us, poisoning our dreams. We realized that if we succumbed, all hope would be lost. 
This temple became the final resting place of my people, and in turn, we became its guardians. There were of course some who found their way inside. Ruffians, raiders, and scavengers. None of you outsiders are worthy of our knowledge. No one is. And how did word of the prophecy ever escape this place at all? We heard of it from a priest, a cleric of Honorius. Ah, that must be Arnok's doing. That means he got out alive. He lived among my people for a while, after they banished the Zerzer beast to the bottom of the Zarndur Sea. We quarreled in the end. He wanted to spread word of the prophecy for all to know. What foolishness. Would have... That would have accomplished nothing, but it summoned more of you grave robbers. There was a fight. A single priest against our gathered might. He fled toward the desert wastes. I never thought Arnot could survive his wounds. But no matter. After all these years, you're the first to understand the truth behind his words. Adventurer. I think you tread the path of righteousness. But you are deceived. Our knowledge cannot be allowed to leave this place. This is your final hour. That makes no sense to me. She's an enemy of the Dark Gods. We're trying to prevent the Dark Gods from bringing about the ruin of Yerngol. I mean, if we know about the... The Pact Prophecy already, the Gods do as well. Now, this fight seems unnecessary. I'm listening. Go ahead. I'm always ready. I'm ready. You need only yes. ask. I'm always ready. I'm listening. I shall not flag Whatever until you say. we prevail. By stealing stuff. I await your instructions. You need only ask. What do you need? No one stands against mm -hmm. steel. Yes. A beer. All right, all right. Like so, and like so. What do you wish of me? Are you certain? I'm listening. I'm listening. I we get a little banged up. <laughs> what is your wish? Here. Hmm? I await your instructions. Surrender while I'm you ready. still can. Yeah, I'm not sure I go. how my backline is supposed to survive all that. <laughs> no matter what I what I did there. You need only right. ask. I'm listening. I await your I mean, I'll try to keep Hogan Har alive. I don't see it happening. I'm listening. Whatever you say. You need only ask. You dare face me. I await no one stands against steel. Alright, take care of the ads first, then we'll focus on the boss. Hmm? I shall not flag until we prevail. Alright, you dare that guy. Yeah, she's only slightly injured. What do you need? I'm listening. You need only ask. Off I go. Surrender. I await your still instructions. Can. Go ahead. Hmm? You need only. I fear neither pain nor death. Whatever you say, I go. Even the mightiest fall. I'm listening. You're summoning more. No we'll probably ignore them for now. I await your instructions. 
I guess I have to go to Harry. How your backline is to survive that initial assault. I hit so much damage coming out. I'm listening. I'm listening. Go ahead. Hmm? Let me mate. You need only you dare face me. Whatever you say. All right, let's start using some potions. I think. I await your instructions. I'm listening. Surrender while you still. You I fear neither pain nor death. All right, well, there goes Har. Hopefully, my Templar is enough self-sustained to see us through to the end of this fight. I mean, she's almost down. I will lead. So her spell does hit her own uh, summons, her own minions. Which made it a little easier. Oh, I think that's the last piece of the... I guess the body that we need for Gershom. All right, let's head back to town and <laughs> resurrect my entire party. Hmm? Yeah, I panicked initially. I probably could have saved Viala and Hamlin, but I didn't know where the explosions were coming from. I didn't know if it was the ads or if it was a uh, Seth this herself. Oh, Even then, trying to move them out of it. Every time it exploded, it stumbled them, so it's hard for them to get out of the the effect. What a doozy. <laughs> At once. That fight really ramped things up. Akan Zakti. Let's go ahead and go back to Market Street. I'll probably call it an episode here, and the next one will resurrect our companions, uh, get Soraka back in our party, then come back to the temple, get all their equipment. Then I don't remember who I was supposed to talk to for the Pact Prophecy. <laughs> Isla. So we go back to Darren Gould after this. At once. Well, since we're here, let's go resurrect everybody, and then the next one will go back. Uh, I'm gonna say recruit Soraka. She's already been recruited. Get her back in our party, and then go back to the temple, get our equipment, then back to Darren Gould. At once. Can I help you? I await your and off I go. Instead of armor of Honorius on Biala, I should have put Mystic Bulwark instead. That would have given her enough survivability since that just blocks damage straight up. Instead of giving you resist. Plus, Armor Venarius is physical resist. 
That fireball effect is definitely once. not physical. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna call the episode here, and the next one we'll focus on recovering from that altercation, and then we will go to Darren Gould. That portrait new. <laughs> it looks so goofy. All right, either way, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.